Yo, what's up guys? Naimbag nga aldaw kada kayo amin. This is Adler and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we will gonna talk about a warband and how it is important in the game. Yes, it is very important right now uh, because of the updates that uh, they make with the warband. So it calls uh, Castle of uh, Sairangar now before it's a warband uh, camp and they make a lot of changes wherein uh, players can have uh, benefits of having a warband so before uh, once raids are done they are um, gonna left uh, the warband and join with other warbands but right now it is important that you have a permanent warband because of uh, some points which we we will gonna discuss right now so if you gonna open your warband here okay first things you will see is the health quality rate heli query rate yeah um this one why it's important in the warband it's uh because you're gonna have points warband points of doing the warband rate all right so each warband rate will give you a 80 uh, warband points activity points here so i will explain to you later where do you gonna use this uh, warband activity here so each boss you're gonna finish whether it's uh, one or two or three but only maximum 80 warband points per each boss i'll query boss okay you will get so in a week you can do it two times because every uh, Thursday and Monday is the reset for the Hell Query Hell Query rate all right so uh, 80 per boss to get the warband activity now the next uh, portion here which is the room management so once we're gonna open this okay we were gonna see um, the positions of your warband members here so of course there is like four options here which is the supports attacker um, protector and the survivor as you can see there is already um, bonus uh, bonus buff there already like for instance like attackers you gain 3.5% uh, damage so if you're gonna see it here yeah it's already a permanent buff here so whether you are outside whether you are in the dungeon or in uh, HQ rate so you will get this buff even in the uh, PvP so you will get this uh, buff right so same thing with the others like here critical hits attack speed of nearby allies so they gain more attack speed and the other things like for here damage taken to all warband members decreased by 1.2 so these are the buff now what else is good for this um, room management here uh, as you can see there is like a crown here which is called remnants Alright, remnants here guys um, will give additional buff like for example here increase all damage done while no enemies are within 3 yards and increase damage 6% but you will take also like 3% so that is also included in permanent buff here so as you can see it's there so even you go outside the castle you go pvp you still see those buff there all right so how to get these uh, remnants so once we open here in the management so we can change the uh, the remnants uh, here which one has a benefit for all the members as you can see on this current uh, remnants that uh, we activated uh, there is no for the support but the good thing with uh, these remnants here all are 
um, rare and uh, magic quality there is no ordinary unlike on these uh, things here but right now we are still on process on getting um, like uh, higher remnants which gives the whole warband the uh, buff more buff like beneficial buff for all members all right so how to get these remnants um, you need to go to uh, the upper part of the castle all right here in the purge of depths all right so in the purge of depths you can do it alone all right and per uh, this one per run you will get five activity warband activity if you're alone but if you are with your war warband members so you will get like 20 warband points there and you can get remnant inside so uh, here so once you go inside all right so once you go inside here um, you can open any doors there and uh, if your focus is to uh, get um, if your focus is to get uh, more remnants then I suggest to you that you just need to open the chests here so you just need to go around and get the chest alright and open all the chests to get uh, more remnants but if your focus is to uh, just get a warband activity points then uh, find the green item okay. then uh, once you find that the green item there you can open the in the middle you can open the one which is in the middle to summon the boss and to finish the um, depths of uh, Sairangar so once you have uh, find that green item I will say that uh, Right, Revenue's Marrow, so that is the name of the green item. So once you find that one, okay, you can summon the one which is in the middle and you can finish the game if you are focused on warband activity points. But if you focus on finding uh, good remnants, then I suggest that you open all the chests first before you uh, submit that uh, marrow to the middle part of the uh, depths of uh, Rengar. I will show you where it is. So here. So here. And uh, occurs altar. Right. So uh, once you find that uh, marrow, so you can oh submit God, it there and it will solve the uh, boss. So here, as you can see, once you are opening the chest, uh, you will get um, remnants. Okay, and if you are lucky, you will get also a legendary Is item. Alright, so here, there are some challenges, of course, before you can open uh, some chests. Okay, so let's see. Okay, there is another remnant here. So that's how to collect uh, remnant, guys. No need to kill all the mobs here. Okay, if you're focused on finding remnants, so you just go around the map and open chests. Alright, but uh, actually, I did not. I did not open all in the other side okay, because I just want to show you uh, some of the ideas on how you know to get remnants here so here okay another remnants here I think uh, it's better to complete the remnants guys 
because I've got already like three. So here remnants maximum eight you can get. Okay. On the three rooms maximum eight and once you get eight already and you have the marrow then uh, you can go to the middle and kill the boss. Submit it to the altar and kill the boss and you will get uh, additional um, remnant there. One more remnant. So each one okay maximum uh maximum nine nine remnants uh, you can collect all right so here nothing usually it will shine once you open it so nothing let's see on the other door okay nothing is there Again here. I am renewed. If you want to kill those guys, no problem. It's up to you. But if you focus on getting more bomb points, then you just make it fast paced like to find the marrow and then kill the boss in the middle, then run again. Okay, this is the revenues revenues marrow. Alright. So that is the one we need and there is a remnant there guys. So we have already six remnants. So it's for now I will cut it for just a demonstration guys. Okay, so the boss here. We just uh, need to kill it. And uh, I suggest for you to finish this video because I will explain other things as well. Okay. I'll explain the other parts which is the ancestral uh, weapon on how to get uh, better stats. Okay, so another remnant in there. So five we get, but if we finish that one, we might Need get the nine. Before. Uh, nine remnants Job well done. and maybe we are lucky then we will get uh, good bonuses for the remnants here right so okay so all the remnants uh, you, you are collecting it's uh, here I will show you remnants okay this is the one we get okay So if not 9 then you, ju you just need to delete it guys to have uh, rooms for other remnants. And then what's our next here? It's the ancestral weapon. So in the ancestral weapon each member of your warband okay, they can put a ancestral weapon which has a design here. So even I'm wearing right now it, this is also a um, ancestral weapon here there's a logo there okay so if you have that it gives a stats here bonus stats here so whether who has like the higher stats that will be automatically activated on this max bonuses all right so which has a higher stats that will be added here now um the current bonuses oh okay there's additional buffs here as you can see if you open the ancestral property okay you can select damage increase by six percent so uh, you can change it here right you can select like uh, and this ancestral power stunning or gain shield so whether which one is good for you then uh, you can use that right now I'm using this damage increase by 15% and of course without a proper uh, legendary item you cannot activate this one so we need an invocation which legendary items will uh, give that one so for now we only have one which is the pants okay so in the invocation here is we need to defeat an enemy and there's a 25 chance to trigger the ancestral invocation okay which is this ancestral property here okay 
So we need legendary items with invocation to activate the ancestral property. So right now I only have pants but there is also armor like that to activate it. Now, uh, in terms of the permanent uh, stats which uh, the ancestral weapon which is giving here, we can upgrade it using the activity uh, warband activity points. So you just go to the middle of the castle here and then you can upgrade it all right using the warband activity so which uh, activities we can get this again i tell you the warband uh, hq rates which is 80 per boss okay defense of uh, sirangar it depends a uh, perch of depths that one we do for the remnants so you will get war uh, warband activity there and of course the defense of sirangar so here you go down to the map and you can begin here like you will get a uh, uh, warband activity so if you defend this uh, more period of time then uh, you will get like more activity points like warband activity so that's uh, the good thing with this uh, the, um, defense of sirangar you can do it alone and you can do it by uh, your warband uh, members as well so of course bonus for this you can talk to this guy here uh, Vals Tus uh, to submit warband chests so warband chests can be acquired if you are doing dungeons um, dungeons uh, XP grind with your colleagues or even HQ rates so if you are with your warband party so you will get those chests and it will convert to items here so you can uh, borrow one item at a time on your warband stash so that's it guys for now thank you and if you did not subscribe yet please subscribe and hit the notification bell thank you